this is the top <laughs> video game podcast. Well, actually, no. This <laughs> oh, oh, it's no, a weird stuff. No, ah, this is the top video happened. game podcast. It's right from now. Horrible, from HorribleNight.com. Come at you live. I don't remember. You're not anybody. You're I not, forget. You're not even on Twitter. <laughs> and, uh, What's Twitter? Is that is that like Twitch? I don't know. Go I'm, to on, so- twi- I'm on Twitch. They, my friends at South YouTube. by Southwest emailed me and told me I should sign up for it. And I did. <laughs> They said it's the next big thing. Foursquare. Now that's the ne- that's the new thing I hear everybody's using. Yeah, we're checking in. We're checking into this podcast mayor. on Tuesday, <laughs> April fifteenth, twenty fourteen, with Mayor yeah. Jordan Wilson. I did it. Oh, go oh, hi everybody. It doesn't count don't, if you can't be the mayor if you worry. create the place. We'll get those potholes filled up. We're gonna <laughs> fill them up with all, with all the dead raccoons that are also all over the streets, and then there you go. I think, Potholes, I, I think dead we, raccoons, two birds with one stone. We're not killing birds. Just, man, just raccoons this and potholes. Is a messy, messy podcast. Pot, <laughs> pot, potholes, dead animals. Yeah, we're getting it started. There we go. Twitch TV slash horrible night. I'm trying to get all my plugs in. My name's Justin Lacey. <laughs> I think I got it all covered. Hi, hi Justin. <sighs> hi, Justin Lacey. How you hi. doing tonight? Me? I'm How good. you doing on this on I, this Tuesday in this awful Indiana? It's nicer out Bl- right now. Bl- blizzard that just suddenly struck us last night. Well, see, so we had snow again this morning, and everybody was super annoyed. But like, everybody knew it was coming too. That's I think. <laughs> I heard it was coming last week. I, I I thought they were joking because I ha- I have been telling that joke for the last couple of weeks. That, oh, you know it's going to snow this weekend. <laughs> That's your best material. It's, well, what's the punchline? It hey. Yeah, it is. Well, I say it in a funny way. I go, who I was going to snow this weekend. <laughs> oh, there's and that then sometimes Jordan. I do, like I do a little dance. I do like a little Conan O'Brien like puppet dance and then I cut. Oh yeah, thing. I like that. Yeah, that gets me every time. The uh, um anyway, you, but yeah, you're not on Twitter, so you don't annoy me because uh you weren't complaining. <laughs> I couldn't see you complaining about the weather, but hey, I've decided. I'm not annoyed by people that complain about the weather. I'm I'm annoyed by people who know that the weather's happening and pretend that they're genuinely surprised. Like, do they you know live... that it's happening? Because being someone who's not on Twitter, I actually don't have any idea what's going on in the world. I'm surprised you like, showed I, up. I don't know time. what the weather is in, until <laughs> until I walk outside. Like, I didn't even know this podcast was going on because hmm. I don't have a Twitter, and yep. you just tweeted it. <sighs> but. No, it's warmer out now. So, like I said, snow this morning, but I took my dog for a walk. So, uh, he's he's passed out. So we've got at least an hour to, to finish this damn show. <laughs> how does your puppy react to uh, to the snow? He loves it. <laughs> well, actually, actually, how does it he react to it. grass? Now that he's it's very actually confused by it. <laughs> he's very confused <laughs> by the grass. He's like, should I eat this? Because there's a lot. <laughs> I'll start, but you know, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all this in today. I think. He gets tired and bored while eating the grass. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I do too. <laughs> you are the puppy of the podcast. Unless I find like a, a nice ant heel or something like that, then that's usually that's pretty exciting. <laughs> that's uh, what else have I been doing though? Um, you don't want to talk about wrestling, but I saw WrestleMania. <laughs> that was fun. Um, I'm see. I'm glad that you had fun. <laughs> I mean, on, honestly, With so I've gotten wrestling. I've gotten WrestleMania the last four or five years. Five years. What does that mean? You you've you got it. Like you understand so it's paper, it? No, no, no. <laughs> so it's, it's a pay per view <laughs> event that you have to purchase and like make a concerted effort to watch. And I've done that the last five years. Okay. Because it's a spectacle, like a Broadway show. Like I, I mean, I'd say it's the like the ultimate the soap opera for men. Like okay, <laughs> soap so, opera for men. It's, it's, All right. Yeah. Um, I don't do. I don't if, do. If for men who like to see other men without their shirts on, okay. Well, they have to be oiled up too. <laughs> Not just the shirtless men. I mean, that, they have to be shiny. That's true. If they don't glisten <laughs> under the spotlights, I, pref- I prefer my yeah. wrestling as wet as possible. <laughs> that just got uncomfortable. Anyway, it was the best I've seen. Probably, I'll, send, I'll send you some videos <laughs> that I found online the other night. You were really liking. I don't want your videos. Plus, you can't send them to me anyway because. You're not on Twitter. I'll put them in chat. Um, <laughs> um, it, I've seen seven WrestleManias. This was the best one. That's all you need to know. So, um, 
you have been working Me? on you have been working on some uh, game development. We talked a little bit about the last time. Yes, I have. Uh, you showed me your latest little prototype, and you said you, you you've gotten a little tired of some of your weapon design. Like, what, yeah, no. Weapon? Anytime I've ever I've ever made a game in the past, if it, mm. it, so, if, if the guy's like a knight or swordsman, he'll attack with a sword. It's just one quick attack. He'll just slash out a sword, and that's it. Then after playing um, Tiny Barbarian DX, and then I watched a um, playthrough of crawl the new like uh four or five player yeah dungeon like right. yeah like the very simple pixel art style oh, I was you're a else. I was guy trying to get out of a dungeon okay and everybody else is playing as ghosts that are trying to kill you so that they can yeah. become Ooh. human yes. and then they can escape the dungeon but um depending on what weapon you have you can have a sword a dagger a club a spear each one of those has like um 10 different frame animations Somewhere mm-hmm. between like five and ten. So instead of just slashing with the sword, you slash forward, slash back, slash up. Then he like jumps in the air, spins. It's just this. He's like, got moves. It's over. It's overkill for just a simple pixel art thing. But after, but then like Tiny DX did the same thing. Your little um, barbarian guy. He'll slash forward, then he slashes back, and then he like lunges forward. And then there's a jump attack, and I think there was like an up attack. And depending on how you're moving, he's that also got moves. Game. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm so after playing games like that, I. Uh, I'm not satisfied anymore with just a single, just quick you know, slash just forward. The, so, just, just the gun, just the the gun animation. Or no, the, see, even if, even if I did that, even if I had a character that just shot a gun, he would shoot, and then he would like go behind his back and shoot again. Oh yeah, and then he would like, the leg shot. He, and, yeah, exactly. He would like sides, dance. He would jump around. Shot. Oh, I'm gonna. It'd be like that yeah. like, um, mm-hmm. Christian Bale movie, that uh, Equilibrium, yeah. that uh, gun. Craft or whatever the gun sword fighting that they so do in that movie. You want more moves and more more, moves. more animations to your attacks in these games you're making. Are you are you thinking like along the the Dark Souls route where the animation takes precedence? You know oh, what I'm talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. Like I, no, I actually thought about doing that because um, so I've got I've got f- um, f- uh, four attack combo. So you slash and you backslash, you slash up, and then you kind of jumps and slash down. I thought, all right, well. I should probably increase, like, like to get to a fourth attack, it should probably either be more powerful or larger so that it could hit enemies further away, or maybe, like, it can cover the guy's head, too, so if, like, an arrow's coming down on you. Mm-hmm. Or I can add invincibility frames, because I know that was a big, like, gotcha with the new Dark Souls, is they started to remove all the in- invincibility frames, because it was before, if you would open a door or... Um, like your rolls and stuff like that. There are times where you can you be had, hit. Yeah, you had more invincibility frames. Mm-hmm. But I heard they got rid of all that stuff. So now, like when you're doing a backstab, you're no longer invincible. So if you're doing a backstab to one guy and there's three guys around you, every one of those guys can beat down on you. And so you have to break out of it, which I I don't know if I want to go that far. But <laughs> I, was just, I was just excited to be able to code. Yeah. <laughs> you strike once, and then during that attack, during the... The, the time that it takes to start the attack and end the attack, if you hit the button again, then it's then it, it doesn't immediately start the next attack, but the next attack is ready. Mm-hmm. So when the first attack ends, the second one is queued up. It, re- it ended up being real easy to do. It was just like setting some variables and then just making sure I che- I'm checking them in the right order. But I, I thought the effect looked r- real cool for just being like a 10 pixel tall guy. I thought it still, I thought the animations looked pretty smooth. That's cool. I mean, it's always it's always fun to have, find like the ne- the next feature. Like after you've after you've actually finished yeah. a game, yeah, something else to be excited about and something else to mess around with. Um, yeah. The only other reason I'm talking about this is because uh, Coop released his game finally last week uh, at the uh, at the day job. We he we've been working on a game at called. About the- at about the same time that I did, and the two games seem eerily similar. Hmm. <laughs> and I have never seen Coop's game until he released it. Coop has seen my game. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I actually so when um when I when I posted it up on our site and I sent it out to everybody um a little during an email Your chain, game. I finally was like, I finally yeah my game. I was like, oh, I'll show everybody everybody's Coop's game. Because uh, Justin used to work with me, so everybody knows who he is. Uh-huh. 
Um, that's you, Justin. I'm saying. That's me. I'm Justin. That's the I'm the host for the chat audience. We I'm the guy together. that tries to talk over Jordan, but he never lets me. So I thought, I thought, hey, this would be cool. I'll, I'll send uh, the game that the company Justin's working at now. I'll send them the game that he just built. And then I made a joke about it, about the fact that uh, oh <laughs> man, the games are so similar. Everybody literally shot back like, "Are you?" Because I said, "Oh Coop come on," and. Hey, Coop ripped me off, and that's the last time I go to lunch with those guys. <laughs> Every, everyone, there's, the games are hardly similar. They it, are um, both 2D sc- side scrollers with waves of enemies. With an unlim- yeah, with an unbeatable wave. Like mm-hmm. we, bo- me and Coop both copied it from Time Everything Barbarian else. DX. Like we both copied it from the same place. So, but yeah, no, it was real funny. Everyone fired back, like, oh, "Are you serious?" <laughs> Like, oh man, that's not cool. I got to watch fire your... back real quick before people got mean about it. I was like, be... no, I'm... no, I was kidding. You got to be careful with your uh, game development jokes. You got to know your mm-hmm. audience before you um, start throwing things around like that. Because, um, uh, yeah, Coop, Coop finally finished Escape from XP uh, this week, and it's pretty, pretty fun to to get that game out there. We've been working on it for the last month and a half or so. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll post a I'll post a link to it fun in it. Game. It uh, yeah, it actually came out a lot more polished than I expected. We had a pretty good artist that uh, kind of came into his own during during the game, and that makes a big difference too. Makes makes me miss XP, man. There was just something about just the. It was. The I mean, there's a lot the of there's a lot of Windows man. XP nostalgia out there right now, like because yeah, no, because it just it worked. The, Damn it, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, right. that start menu, man, they're bringing it back. Yeah, that'll make. Yeah, that'll fix everything. Actually, yeah, just hide the existing start menu from me as much as possible. I, I was having that talk about Windows 8 the other day. They're like, it's not that bad. And I was, I was like, it's not that bad, but it doesn't mean that I'm not annoyed by some of its du- the dumb choices it's made. So Yeah, that start menu took me a minute. Once once I finally accepted the fact this is the start menu, the, um, to the what is it, the not the modern view, the desktop. Yeah. The thing with the little tiles. It's that the start view. menu. That's what it's called. Yeah, exactly. Once I accepted this is the start menu, okay, then I then I can make my, well, my browser. Well, no, you see, you go to the start menu, and stuff. then you type to find whatever you want, so you never have to actually look at it or use it. Like <laughs> Honestly, you know. if you're doing that, just buy a Mac. Because <laughs> the Mac, that's what everyone on a Mac is already doing. I think doing I've got about 300 doing, games so. in my Steam library that disagree with that decision. <laughs> oh, okay. But we're getting True. Um, let's go on to like video so, game news that impacted more than okay. you and me. <laughs> uh, speaking Wait, talk of, about stuff that didn't impact me. I don't, I don't understand that that phrase. Well, there was let's a get, video from PAX East that apparently affected a lot of people. I don't <laughs> know. I don't know if you've been how much you've been following. Everything they do affects a lot of people, regardless well, of whether. Well, it's PAX should. East. Yeah, PAX East. Touches a lot of people. So what happened to PAX East? Um, so that game, the the Starship fighting game, that's what I'm going to call it. Oh, oh my st- gosh, st- Star Citizen. Star Citizen. Yeah, so, hold on. Yeah, hold on. I saw, hold okay, on. <laughs> no, I want to talk. I get to set it up before you tangent. Chat, everyone, I'm going to talk and chat too. <laughs> Actually, maybe you should do that. That'll distract you. Uh, we'll get you <laughs> calmed down. So Star Citizen's been raising ridiculous amounts of money for so I, for forever. I just saw they're actually over $45 million raised <laughs> in crowdfunding. Now, it's it's kind of deceptive because people are actually like buying ships and like spending thousands of dollars on in-game can you, transactions. Can you can and you it, disappear with Kickstarter money? Is that possible? I don't know. I don't I, think cuz I, cuz I would have I would have 20 million dollars ago. Like I would have just di- I would have disappeared in my flying yacht. <laughs> and I think I think the last time you were on we talked about like Wanting a game like Tie Fighter, like there just hasn't hmm. been yeah. just a space combat game in a, in a long time. And Star Strike, Citizen, Strike Suit, Strike Suit uh, Zero, which I just recently played from last, uh, I, released beginning of last year. That game, it 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 fit it fit that need, but it's not that game was an open world, which mm-hmm. is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the old privateer freelancer open I world think... where it's just you and your ship. Go fly to whatever solar system you want. If you do whatever you want, that's. So, I think that's the next kind of game I'm ready. Escape for. with your ship alone mm-hmm. in the universe. Um. Well, anyway, I I all I know Star Citizen because it's made so much money and it's been ma- being made by um, uh, the developer behind. Ah, the last Starfighter stuck in my head. What what did he make before that? Um, 
the guys Shit. that are working on Star Citizen. Yeah, yeah. The I wondered if they had any pedigree. They they come from a, a ridiculous pedigree. It'll take me two seconds. Oh, okay. I've always wondered about that because man, people are just shoveling money. So yeah, I mean that's where we're, we're Wing oh, Commander. So this guy behind Wing Commander. Sorry. Um, oh, seriously? Yes. Yeah, oh. So, so, oh, okay. That, so it's the Wing Commander guys. They're going to make a new space. They're making the Wing Commander of their dreams, basically. Flight, flight simulator. Okay. All right. I, uh, and people are able to buy that, ships. That's ex- I, I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> people are able to buy ships, and I don't, I don't know what else they're spending thousands of dollars on. Anyway, all the like the the artwork for this game and all the screenshots I've seen, you know, it looks really, really gorgeous. But they finally mm. revealed some actual gameplay at PAX East. Ooh, and, that's and it, dangerous. And it looked, uh, it looks really good. But the it best didn't look $40 million good. <laughs> I, you'd, be, you'd, be, you'd be surprised. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Um, and I don't think we matter because the best part of that video is... Helmet, 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 <laughs> helmet, helmet, helmet. The, the crowd no, I, just going absolutely. No, no. You, we say crowd. Nuts. I, I listen to it again. It is distinctively one guy no, sure. that you that you audibly hear screaming things. Well, and I don't know if it was just like that's like the bro tone that every dude uses. When tone. He's in a crowd. Like shoot a torpedo, eject, eject. I think like, I've heard those guys at golf tournaments too. But. <laughs> You probably heard him during your wrestling. Yeah, I was going to say, it actually reminded me of a wrestling crowd. wrestling soap opera. <laughs> they were starting <laughs> chants, but like, like yeah. every, every t- helmet, everything. Helmet, helmet, and then And then they put the helmet on and the crowd went nuts and, <laughs> and donated then, oh. another $20 million. <laughs> probably. So. Uh, I, I, I hope that that guy, those people were plants. Or those people thought they were at Coachella. Dude, I'm like, because <laughs> forty-five million dollars in crowdfunding that has got uh, that has got a crowd that is emotionally invested in this game, and they're finally getting getting to see it. Okay, so so do you think do you think like they could have shown anything? They could have shown like probably. a dark stick of truth, and people would have been like, yeah, whoa, that's the game. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> here's, here's another game helmet, we like. Helmet, helmet, helmet. <laughs> They show footage of they other, that, like, other games. That, like, like the crowd was chanting helmet like three or four times. Is that your favorite part? Uh, uh, I didn't even... The helmet animation was cool, but after the first time I saw it, I thought, I thought, I thought, I hope I never have to sit through that helmet animation again. <laughs> they ruined it. They ruined yep. it. But other than the game, <laughs> it looked pretty awesome, though. Like, as far as, like I said, we you're excited for some space combat, did it? Yeah, I did I didn't think it looked awesome. I thought it looked all right. <laughs> all right, all right. I thought it, I think so, just, just the attention to detail looks really nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, like oh yeah, when he like he spun around, he was showing the guy sitting in the cockpit. That that was hopeful because um so I think the like Oh, one of the reasons that everyone um, is so excited about the idea of Star Citizen why they keep dumping money into it, it I think it like it's probably a problem with Kickstarter where it's before we actually see the game like the possibilities are endless, you know, unlimited, unlimited potential. And so, if we just keep pouring money into it, then they should be able to do anything. Because I think, like, um, what was the Terraria space game that just came out, Starbound? Mm-hmm. Same thing. Where man, people just got crazy about that game because it's the idea of like space That's exploration. Forty-five million dollar crazy. Like this is like. 20, yeah. 10, 20 times as big as anything else that as far as it, as far as what, goes. Because I love space combat. I love the idea of being in a in a in a high speed like space planetary fighter fighting against mm-hmm. battle like huge battleships. But what I what I I played those games like Strike Suit Zero. Like I said, just got done with that game not too long ago. Man, that game is perfect for that. What I want is to be able to you're flying around in space and then you just eject. And then your guy, and now you're uh, it, like the you know the over the shoulder view of a guy, and then like you land on an asteroid, and then you just walk around the asteroid, and then maybe you find like a pirate base, and you sneak into the pirate base, and you're like walking around inside of the pirate base. Like I don't, I just don't want space. Because <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you you want to get out of the ship. I'm, yeah, I want I want a I want a huge world, and but there's actually what was that um, No Man's Sky? Yeah. That's what I was going to suggest I, for you. <laughs> I think I think that's what they might be going yeah. for. Yeah. Actually, so, well, I don't know if you're getting out of the ship in that. I know it's got like exploration. Yeah. You get down to like near the planet level. 
but oh, okay. Yeah, I don't like. You might just be like hovering around, like cruising around in your ship. I don't know enough about where the open worldness ends for Star Citizen. Huh. I know like having your hangar is a big deal. Like your hangar full of your ships and being able to walk around your ship. But as far as like doing interacting outside of that, I don't really, I don't really know um, where that's going. But like, yeah, I mean, it's like I said, it's deceiving. To call it crowdfunding because people are just literally buying. It's like they're buying in-game items before it comes out. It's like oh, you mean like the sh- like but spending yeah. like it's like if on a ship. Yeah. yeah, it's it's like if Planet Side Two when people were playing the beta and started buying weapons and buying upgrades, if they had started adding that money in to their crowdfunding total. Yeah, like it's it's that yeah. kind of thing. But I still like people are spending thousands of dollars, and I I don't fully understand, but like that. The and you, and trailer you know, was attention grabbing, and then that cl- crowd reaction was one of the more ridiculous things I've heard. Like in a very entertaining way. Like I'm, I'm, ha- I'm thrilled for those people. I would love to be that excited about something right now. Yeah. And all I have is wrestling. And we'll get so, to the problem. But you like space exploration, right? Yes. But you like, but you like wrestling too. It's, all right. Here, here's my game pitch. <laughs> Go. Oh, wait, that's, go. Wait, that's a, that's a different show. It's spaceships oh. that wrestle. <laughs> they're, they're spaceships, and then they like do the Robotech mech thing. Yes. And then they but before yes. they start wrestling, they taunt each other, uh-huh. and they, they flex a lot. And then each ship's got its own like signature like you know move that it does. I don't know. I, play I, don't, know this. I, I don't know wrestling moves. I'm trying to do hand things. Yeah. How I've seen you, one guy. He like, wait, he, like wipes. His how do you pin someone in space? You... Against an asteroid. Okay. <laughs> Again, you got to get down to the planet level. <laughs> it's like it's like it's the chair just thing. Space. You just you, you like run over the asteroid. You grab a you grab an asteroid and then you come in and you just block the guy the other guy over the head with it. Gosh. Or like space debris and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> this is <laughs> space Jordan. This, this, is, this is actually a good idea. I think we should have a space like segment every time, Space. Around. You get excited. Space, res- space wrestling. Let's game. see if I can tone you down because you can't. Nobody can. Hey, I'm going to talk about you can't censor me. the latest in streaming devices for your living room. <laughs> so um, I actually got a uh, Amazon Fire TV that came out. <laughs> you mean you mean a PC hooked to your TV? I have one of those. That's not really it. No. <laughs> so explain what the uh, – it's the Amazon Fire TV. Yes, right? Gary Busey, it is. So uh, I got excited. Oh, God, yeah. that <laughs> I like that ad. That ad alone made me not make, makes me not want to know anything about it. I was but just, hey, Gary Amazon Busey. brought back Gary Busey. I'm here's a hundred dollars. That's what that was my decision making process. He's crazy, but I like that he acknowledges the fact that he's crazy. Yeah, high pants. <laughs> I just squeaked. I don't know. What the hell that just was? Reverse, pu- reverse puberty happening right uh, now. Okay, but go ahead, shoot. So the reason I got it was because I have I have three Roku's in my house. We have three TVs hooked up with Roku players. Uh, so we, I cut cable a couple years back. I do a lot of streaming. All of my digital downloads, everything that I buy, is actually on Amazon service. That's just my my preference. Um, oh, okay. And then, so one of my Roku's has kind of been on the fritz lately. It's my oldest one. I'm like, and then when they announce this, it's the same price as a Roku, and I'm like, well, I might as well try this because all my stuff oh, hooked okay. into hooked into Amazon plus. Uh, they also put out a trailer for like all the games that are coming to it, which is kind of that kind of bizarre. But that was, that really perked my interest when I saw like I mean I a game so, controller hooked to like this streaming device because mm-hmm. I I really love the idea of the Ouya, but like yeah, something was yeah I think Amazon's in a better position hard, with that. It's really hard for them to gain a foothold or really gain traction because they don't have anything connected to them. But yeah, like what you're talking about with the Amazon, like yeah, you have an Amazon account. Mm-hmm. I do too, and I don't ever I've bought two things. <laughs> no, I mean, I've got I've it. probably got 30 movies and hundreds of TV episodes already on that account. So mm. uh, that was the kind of no and the bo- the oh, games okay. were, the games were just a bonus and I was just yeah. kind of curious about it. So it was 100 bucks um and I, I don't think this is Amazon's big play, but I think they're still testing the waters with the gaming stuff. I think if they want to get serious, they'll make a, a beefier machine, but not, you know, not the level of an Xbox One, but like, you know, the $150 version of this that has a little bit more, a little more meat to it when they have some games that are worth talking about. Right now, they just have, they, I mean, they had a brand new, like, kind of tower defense game um, ready to go at oh, launch. Yeah. And then they've yeah. got, you know, they've got Minecraft on there. They've got all the, you know, ties into the, 
the Amazon game yeah. store, all the Android yeah, stuff. The, it's running Android. The, I remember the I remember what the Minecraft. The, I I felt like the Minecraft part of the advertisement was at least tw- two or three times longer than any of the other game. I just the I'm glad we're at a point have. where you don't you're validating your system by having Minecraft rather than Angry Birds. That's yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's that, evolution. That's a world. That's a world I want to live in. It's it's much better. Um, and then uh. What else? But but I was actually most excited for the fact that Pinball FX is actually already on, on the device, <laughs> so I can play Pinball on my TV again. But um, you know the controller's fine. It actually got a, some really bad reviews, so I had my my expectations were lowered for it. But I finally got the controller. What, and what about like like the, the latency be, or just the feeling of it? Yeah, the feeling of it. Like it just oh, okay. like the buttons. Yeah, and, yeah, I saw it. it it's fine. It's totally fine. It, the deep, the, like, the D pad like. sucks, but the D pad sucks on eighty percent of controllers in the world. <laughs> so, uh-huh. um, but I, yeah, don't buy this for the games. Um, but you know, Amazon is investing in their Amazon Game Studios. They've hired, um, well, who they hire? They hired the creative director behind Far Cry Two, the creator of Portal, and um, a couple other people. And so I think they're working on stuff, which makes me believe that those games that they're the that level of team are working on is probably a year or two away. So Amazon's actual play into into you know game consoles or whatever happens is probably a little bit away. It's probably not. So this so price. you think you think um, Amazon is working on um, uh, Amazon only titles? Yes. Yeah. They will. I mean, so you've got you know Amazon's got a device, Apple's got a device, Google's working on their stuff. And then Roku's out there, Mr. Independent right now. But Amazon yeah. wants to give you a, another reason to only buy an Amazon thing so they compete compete with Apple in the living room. And then, um, yeah. And then we'll see where that starts overlapping with what Microsoft and Sony are doing. That'll be, it'll be interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. Because it's like you've got, cheap. you've got hardware companies that are setting up like these really um, huge software ecosystems like the, the that Apple has done. And then you've got Amazon that's primarily been a web service that's turning into like a yeah. products like a, now they're bringing into the their their software service into a physical product and selling that so it's getting confusing out there I actually I had the I had my Google Glass our office Google Glass down here a minute ago I was like yeah I can't think of anything funny to do with it because I don't know how it works so <laughs> went and took it back upstairs I thought about <laughs> I want to mess with one of those I need to come I need to I want to see how conf- that all works I don't. Um, we've had it you in the just office. You at it, right? And it works? Probably two or three months. Well, um, the other developer, uh, he was sitting there trying to figure it out, and for some reason he kept... <laughs> <laughs> he was nervous, man. It's like, are you all right, man? You got... I never noticed that nervous twitch. He's like, no, I'm uh, I'm trying to go back. <laughs> like, he, was doing, back. He, was, he was doing something, and go, the Google S would pick up on that. It would Google pick S. That's <laughs> a different... That's their, or, porn, that's or their porn okay device. Glass, uh, what the hell? Whatever the heck it's called. So you just flick your flick your head, and it would I don't know it would do something. I don't remember. It wasn't interesting, and nobody could get it, nobody could figure it out. It'll tell you the time. Oh, that's cool. I mean, I don't wear a watch anymore, so <laughs> like a watch on something. your face. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that's know. A much, <laughs> that's a much more direct sales pitch. Sounds really aggressive when uh, you say it like that. Um. Another big announcement. So, Firaxis, the guys behind, obviously behind the Civilization series, and most recently, XCOM Enemy Unknown, um, they're working, they announced their next Civilization game, which is Civilization Beyond Earth. So, Civilization's going to space. Which, is it called, is it called Civilization? Yes, I believe, okay. I believe but it's, it's called Civilization to, uh, Beyond Earth. Uh, hmm? Alpha Centauri or whatever. So, yeah, but, they... That's what it's the spiritual successor to that, but since they don't yes. own the name to yes. it, yeah. But it's the same guy. It's the same. It's Sid Meier, right? Right, right. But yeah. apparently, when they formed that company within the EA, they brought Civ, but not Alpha Centauri. So. EA owns EA owns everything. Just, yeah, just except for except Alpha. that fact. So I mean, I didn't really play Alpha Centauri, so I can't really speak to that. But I mean, I didn't either. But I uh, I got a forty-five to maybe three-hour lecture. I kind of oh really. I kind of zoned out for a while when a friend, uh, old friend of mine, discovered that I was real into uh, making video games. <laughs> he gave me his video game pitch, mm-hmm. and it was based off that. So, man, that game, that game sounds super complicated. And then it sounded really open, so like other people would add their own um, uh, races. 
like sure. a because you're in space, and so it's like you've got the technologically religious race that you can play as, and you have like the Earth colonials. It's that like you can play they're as. super advanced, but we've got to distill it down to the basics still. Like we still got yeah. like yeah, universe problems are the same as if you were on the one. Planet. They will always be the same, right? Um, I I think this is interesting just because Civ Five was pretty much perfect, like for lack of a better term. Like I I thought never it, never played a Civ game. I played the hell out of all the Sim City games, mm. but I never, never I didn't play never Civ until Civ Four, so I've played Civ Four and Five. And then okay. obviously really likes their XCOM stuff. And they've been doing a really good job yeah. of just making those series a lot more accessible, for better or for worse. I still think they have... I still think they maintain their hardcore like modes. You just have to basically go go in and turn those on. So, um, oh, right. But uh, but re- my question always was, after Civ Five, where's where does that series go? And uh, To space. That works for me. I was exci- I, I think that's that's exciting. Um, I didn't know what All I want to know is... Can you get out of your spaceship? <laughs> it's, it's, that's, the only, that's all. Every it's single game. Yes no. <laughs> Just let me know. Maybe uh, I want the space exploration combat game, and then when you go to the planet, it turns into Starbound. But uh, <laughs> what if it all? With, but what if it all starts like Spore? <laughs> what if you go the other way? You got to start. No, I don't want to. I don't want to wait. <laughs> I have to play six other games to get to the game I want. Yeah, if I can skip Spore and get right to the space exploration, then yes, they can, they can include it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't ever have to do it. They can do whatever they want. Well, that's, I mean, if you think about that, you want these big space, space actual exploration games that take place in a universe where technology is more or less at its peak, right? Because you're, yeah. you're flying around in space. So um, that's pretty high up there. That's uh, that's that's a heightened level of technology. I would yes. say it's the peak technology. I I understand the fault of my statement. When but our anyway. minds are all sh- sharing but a single thought. A- you want to get to that level of technology so you could go to a planet and then just like be a caveman. Just hang out. <laughs> just, <laughs> just you know, see what's going on. Space caveman. See Sorry. if there are any good movies or anything. You know. <laughs> that's really, I just want to go check out the movies in other galaxies. There's mm-hmm. probably people that that would be really appealing to. Um, another game that you know a lot about, um, Epic <laughs> finally um, showed off some of Fortnite. Now, they announced this, I want to say, almost three years ago at this point. And uh, it was about the time that everybody started leaving Ep- Epic. Um, Gears of War was kind of wrapping up. Um, and you don't really know, I don't even know who's left at Epic. Like, they basically. They bought People Can Fly. That stuff didn't really take off. And then they announced this Fortnite game. Everybody leaves, and we don't hear anything for a while. And you're just kind of like, you know what? Maybe maybe Epic is just making their game engine. Maybe they're making the Unreal Engine 4. They're going to license that, and that's that's just the company they're going to be. Yeah. Um, and then they like they released this trailer for Fortnite, and one, it looks really cool. I thought it was. I thought it looked genuinely fun. But two, okay. they really they really hit home with. Um, that you know, it's okay that this doesn't look like an epic game because we're oh, yeah. redefining epic and just beat you over the head with it. And I was like, yeah, I, I I get that, you know, it's not Gears of War, but outside of that, we don't really know what you can do. So no one really was going to say much either way. So um, anyway, Fortnite, there'll, there'll be a playable character that's like this huge, <laughs> massive, like no necked dude, Scorpio's big football no. player. Um, Boys screaming for helmets. At at one point, they said that you know Fortnite was kind of inspired by by Minecraft, so I kind of got worried that it was going to go off way too far in the building side of things. But I mean, essentially, so they, they, the developers said that. Yeah, they okay. no, they yeah they said they were taking some inspiration from Minecraft. Okay. So you don't know what to was what Minecraft level. the first like. It's the like, it's the milestone. Race, like build your own like yeah. you know make your own build. But I don't know. I can't think it's of a term for that. I mean, that game is still the game is <laughs> bigger out. and bigger every day. Still, okay. So, um, because so I just watched um, some guys do a early beta of the EverQuest. Um, Next, yeah the the world building side of it. Yeah, and I thought those two the gameplay that I watched of Fortnite and the gameplay I watched of the EverQuest looked a lot alike. <laughs> like even like. Even like the building part of it. I haven't watched any um, of the EverQuest next next stuff, but I'll have to do that to kind of compare. Yeah, I think it's Foundation. That might be the name of the um, I, yeah. Level, it has the, a weird the world has a, editor. It has a weird name. Yeah. Um. 
Um, but have you ever seen any um, Rust gameplay either? A little bit, a little bit, but kind of the same thing going on. Like the first-person shooter, it's and the then you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant a wall, and then you know it gives you like the little opaque wall that you place it down, and then a wall gets built. So. But like all this stuff is kind of getting released at the same time, and it, it's just funny. It's like I doubt these developers have really had any crossover. I'm sure, like you know, obviously mm. EverQuest started their thing when they did. The Rust guys started so theirs, maybe... and the Fortnite guys. Everyone just seems to be going to the same place. If like Minecraft is the foundation of like we need to start adding world editing to video games, but we've got all these first person well. <laughs> EverQuest isn't a first-person shooter, but it's a first-person game. They all just kind of are evolving, I think, into this. It's neat so here, to see them all my, kind of looking, looking the same. Here's my theory that I just put together while you were talking. What, rambling on. Yes. Okay. Um, because I've kind of I, I started thinking, so these are the games, especially with EverQuest Next, like you, and the, just the weirdness that is the MMO space right now. Like everybody, yeah. you know, for the longest time, everybody was trying to make the next World of Warcraft. Like they were yeah. using the model of World of Warcraft. Uh -huh. The next biggest thing since World of Warcraft is probably Minecraft, as far as like just the level of success that something that a game has had. Just, just, and so now it's like all those companies that were trying to make the next Warcraft had now shifted to, <laughs> okay, well, the Warcraft stuff's yeah. not working. Let's let's put in Minecraft yeah. into it and see what happens. At least Angry Bird hasn't found its way into every game too. <laughs> that we hope not, because <laughs> uh, I just it's still in chat. Nobody's nobody's moved just, my Angry Birds reference out. You I, killed it. You killed it with your Angry Birds reference. I did. Everybody left. Um, anyway, Fortnite though, I think it looks like the premise is cool. Just from the get together with your friends. Build a fort in a certain is amount it, of time and defend it against mutants. It's a wave, so it's, it's wave. It's going to be like wave based, mm -hmm. a lot like my game. Everybody's yeah, copying, everybody copied off of you. Defend, defend the building, huh? Ah. Um, Coop. But so, it, but it looks like what it's is still, ex what's exciting? What's exciting about that? Like, I, it's, just, I think it looks it's like a wave based fun. game, and it's a wave based game from um, probably the uh, inventors of sure. wave mode. I was thinking right? about that. Horde, yeah, the horde mode guys. Yeah, or yeah. horde mode, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. So, I mean, they know how to do it. They but did it, but, they but did doing it that right. with, like, destructible environments and then, uh, you know, re things that you have built and having to defend that, it just looked – it looked like yeah. good good co-op fun. Um, and yeah. uh, I don't know. It, 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 I could see – Yeah, it. I guess it's, I, it's, it's, it's like the, a, new, a new improvement on wave-based games when you can actually build the level. Although um, there was a – um, what are those games called where you set um, towers and the enemies come in on a set path? Tower defense? De defense? Yeah, tower defense games. Mm -hmm. There's like a first-person shooter tower defense game. I, I, well, that I think that um, Amazon Fire yeah, one, that, that game, I think that's basically what it was. I can't think what the... I can't think what the game I'm thinking of is called. But, I mean, th that's kind of the same thing where you just... You know the waves about to start. Build yeah. your level, but all you're building is walls, so that you know. So yeah, you but there's like when you're building something and enemies tear it down. Like there's a little bit more investment in your mm -hmm. structures, and and I'm well, and I, and I think Fortnite because I've never gotten into those games. Never gotten into 2D, like bird's eye view tower defense games. And then I've never like I've watched some people play these first person shooter tower defense games. The ones that I'm thinking of, like mm. the names of. But this game actually looked exciting because the idea, like, I was watching the guy and he kept just building Sanctum. Thank you, Nilmar. Nilmar had it. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't play Sanctum, so I don't feel so bad now. I was like, oh, okay. you sound like you're talking about something obvious, but okay. It, it was. I was, was like, Dungeon game. Defenders. Of, <laughs> yeah, kind of. Orcs must die. Um, That's not yeah, bas yeah, basically. Um, but like the guy was just building stairs straight into the air, and I thought, yeah. well, that's probably really defensible. Just build build stairs straight up into the air, and then everyone just stand on the top of the stairs. But you're probably like every tower defense game, you're probably defending something. Mm -hmm. and yeah, this, so you can't you can't do that because the enemies won't go after you; they'll just go after the. Yeah, you're probably building a fort around a crystal it. or some some sort of <laughs> a crystal or yeah. the power generator, something like that. Yeah, I don't know. It just it it. It's, the original pitch didn't interest me, and I was worried it's going to go down this like just being was, too Minecraft. Was that the original pitch? A wave based, I, yeah. build level editor. Okay, yeah. Uh, but right. it looked. But it wasn't, it wasn't until you saw like 
the first the characters, the way they looked, the way they were being attacked by the enemies, and mm-hmm. watching them build and like build a the fort, like yeah. the cardboard fort looking thing that they yeah. built that they were standing. I mean, that up looked on, fun. Like, it looked simple. It, and, yeah, but also, like I said, be it looks for a, a quick co op game. It looked like something I I could get into. So it was it was mm-hmm. just nice to see. You know, I thought Epic was DOA as far as game development goes. So it was, oh it was, right, yeah. It was, it was nice to see this thing come out and look. Uh, genuinely interesting and like nothing they've ever done and um yeah they need I, to give I, I up on a that, shot so that unreal engine nobody's using that thing <laughs> um, there's no money there's no money in that no i mean why that would that would be i actually dropped the price of it for actually i played an unreal game did you week. you probably played yeah, a lot of them i finished a game well it's just one of those things you know the game starts and it's like unreal you mean like 80 percent of games this last generation <laughs> Yeah, it's like the only engine uh, there for a while. Yeah, I just beat Contrast last night. Yeah, just got released a couple months ago. Little, I don't really know the pedigree. I don't know where the game came from. I guess there wasn't any pedigree. It was just a company that you know nobody's ever heard of that just put it together. But the intro of the game was interesting because it's like you know made on the Unreal Engine, um, funding from, and then it was some organization. <laughs> Like it's you know like the way that like cities will give grants oh, like, yeah, to gotcha. game companies. It sounded like that, but um, no contrast ended up being a, a pretty cool game. It was only three hours, which I did. Yeah, that 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 caught me off guard. But I had no reason to think that it wasn't going to be a sh- really short game like that. But um, I mean, it's I can't a, really... is it like puzzle solving? What's the what's the yeah? Game? So the gimmick the the game's gimmick <laughs> is because um, every little indie game has to have a gimmick or. Right. So you play um, as a little girl's imaginary friend. Cool. So you don't play as the little girl. She like she's the like your girl's boring, quest, and she has she's no your talent. Quest giver. Do what? I said the little girl's boring and has no talent. <laughs> yeah. So why would you want to play as her? Actually, you are boring and because you don't ever talk. Well, you're, you're an imaginary friend. You'd you keep talking over me. So oh, but the, <laughs> the game's you're... gimmick is. Um, you you play as Dawn. The little girl's name is Dee Dee. Um, Dawn is able to um, pass into the shadow world. So you'll have a spotlight hitting a wall. So you like you can't. Uh, okay, here's the best example. You need to get up onto a platform. There's two people in a hotel room that are arguing, but the light is casting the shadows of them on the building that you're over. You're standing next to. So you get against the wall, hit the button, and you're now a shadow in on the wall. And then, like, the woman's playing with her shoe. You need to go stand on her shoe because the sh- they're shadows, so, you know, mm-hmm. they're being projected further away, so the shadows are huge. Stand on her foot. She'll lift her foot up onto a, onto the bench to play with her, uh, like, shoelaces or something like that. Then you jump off onto the table, get onto her cigarette, then she'll lift her cigarette up to her mouth. You jump on her head, and then you jump you from just... her over to the guy that she's talking to, and now you jump up onto the ledge. Okay. It's like puzzle. So you're using puzzle platforming and Yeah, shadows. you're entering... You're entering into shadows mm-hmm. so that you can move across like a platform, or you're picking up cool. a box, walking into the shadow with the box, dropping the box, and then moving a spotlight because the box is still in the shadow. Oh, so play with the light sources. So now you're moving a spotlight, and so now the bo- you know, now you're moving the box across the wall because w- it's still inside of the light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that fun. that took it that took a minute to kind of like to to figure out yep. <laughs> like how that how that. Because you would walk into a room, okay, here's the puzzle room, you know, the portal moment where you're standing in the room like, huh. <laughs> yeah. Like you can see the whole room and you know where you need to go. Now, what's everything in this room that I can interact with? Huh. My problem with all of those types of puzzle rooms is like, you know, usually, I mean, you eventually you you work it out in your head. You either work backwards yeah. or you work um, from the beginning and step your way through it. No matter what, like always, the first thing I notice is usually like the that middle step. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> the one that, that I, I start that to like is, work one it's way. Trial, it's trial and error. Yeah, it just, like that step. Yeah, I this just, game. This game is a big just, just trial and error. It don't stand there and try and figure it out because that the light up. There's a light that you don't see that's not on yet, and it's not up till it's not until you get up to it that you realize, oh, I need to turn this on, but I didn't, so now I got to go back. To where I started and turn and do something to turn it on, but how how long was Portal? Now that I think about it, now it's that only, it's that only like four or five hours. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's that. It's it's I mean, a very there's, simple, there's, very simple, just niche puzzle game that 
they you feel can like you got be your, co- they can your, be copied endlessly. You feel feel like you got your money's worth? Was that a? I can't remember. It was, was on sale. 10 or 15. I, yeah, I don't remember how much I paid for it, but yep. um, yeah, I mean, if you like Portal, yeah, you give this game, give this game a try. The um um the game is got is just oozing with charm. Okay. Like the the artwork for it is is beautiful. It's got kind of a like 1950s. Um, I think it's a French development company because mm-hmm. you can you can switch on the French. Uh, switch I think on the, the French. Yeah, we oui, a, oui. a, a lot of cheese, wines, baguettes. Suddenly, yeah, everybody say, has a baguette. Hate you. Yeah, and a, everyone's smoking a lot. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. My, he just yeah. gives you a cigarette. French, all my French stereotypes. <laughs> turn on the little girl. The little girl is smoking the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> mama. Oh, it's like well, that's what once you do. You come into the puzzle room. It gives you a cigarette while you're contemplating how to how to figure it out. And by the time yeah. you're done with the cigarette, you should have the problem solved. The puzzle solved. The game. The game has a very French aesthetic to it. Like when you think like cat like old like cabarets or like jazz bars like the old um like wine um poster artwork that you see everywhere like the really old classic yeah. stuff it's that kind of an art style so the game is just dripping with that kind of style but man the only problem with the game is um so a game that's like foundation is building c- um objects like playing with collision detection because yeah. you 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 have to build a thing that you can then jump and platform on, the game has terrible collision detection. Oh, so I'll let you. It's like I can the, hear your I can hear your loud typing over there. No, that's like every What's going on in chat. I, I always say with these indie games, like they'll usually, if there's like three facets to the game, they'll always like excel at one, be okay at another, but there'll be one of them that can kind of break it for you. If, yeah, so, so the so controls. Like how forgiving are you willing to be? Like, the controls are super loose. Like, you're like, all right, I need to turn the camera around. Whoa, whoa, camera slow down. Luckily, there's a camera sensitivity setting, so I turn that guy down. And then I'm like, all right, I need to run forward. And she's she's off, you know, at a fast sprint, and I just jumped off a ledge. <laughs> you know, okay, all right, we need to, need to slow, you know, need to work with the button sensitivity a bit. But, man, that... There was some the, the collision is so bad that, it, that there were a couple of puzzles where I wasn't sure if I would, I wasn't doing it right or mm-hmm. if I wasn't doing it correctly. Like if I was in the wrong spot and that's why I kept falling out of the world or if the collision detection was just bad and it wasn't picking up. And in every one of those cases, it was no, the collision detection that's just bad. wasn't picking. Yeah, I mean, wasn't picking, I, I, mean wasn't I, I didn't up. hear any like awesome reviews uh, from the game, like the worst yeah. thing I would read is that you know it's inoffen- inoffensive, but like you know if it does the puzzle platforming well, if like they're satisfying puzzles, I I think, um, I don't know, I think that audience you'll you'll know if you'll like it pretty pretty. Quickly, I would recommend so. a game if you look at the artwork for the game and you go, man, I really like that artwork. Then yeah, you, yeah I mean, is a game you seem like if, pretty if you excited about, about the trying artwork, it. Yeah. Like yeah, no, I've had it. Yeah, I've had. I feel like I've had it for a long, uh, for a long time, and I. I remember like all the just seeing all the early artwork and stuff for it. Just um, thinking, thinking it was pretty cool. Cool, cool. I think it'll look good anyway. The I mean, idea, it was, uh, the idea of it seemed pretty. Cool. The only reason I know actually, the, the, right, sorry. <laughs> the only reason I know about it was because it was one of the few PS4 launch games. It was one of the first downloadable games you could get. Um, I mean, it just kind of happened to be that was the time they were yeah. launching it. But that was uh, yeah. that was still kind of cool. So, um, I. I feel like I should apologize for my game of the week. <laughs> I don't know. I was. It's all right, man. This is a safe place. Okay. I mean, I don't know about chat. We got we got Nilmar in there. So. I'm, I'm actively playing a handful of games, right? Um, and I've been really into Diablo three, and I still bounce in back and forth with that. And I've been playing a lot of Hearthstone. And eventually, Hearthstone. What? What's Hearthstone based on? That's based on another game, right? Yeah, eventually, Hearthstone. I and I warned you. I knew Hearthstone was a gateway <laughs> back, <laughs> back in, back into it. God. That's, job, I think. I done. think all of Hearthstone was just a huge marketing ploy to get everyone back into World of Warcraft. Guess what? It sounds like it has worked. Fucking worked. I mean, sin Blizzard, uh, an ang- angry letter, man. That's so, all right. I. I can't get away from Planet Side Two either, man. I saw that. Like, damn, I, I almost damn like, online. I thought we needed to have an intervention for exact- each other. <laughs> um, so how? So what? What was it that 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 pulled you back? Like, because it, it it had to have been a very distinct moment in your mind where you thought, "Man, I really want okay, to play so this game." So here's I my, should it. <laughs> yeah, my but my, my dilemma has been. 
I know that I'm going to play it when the new expansion comes out later this year. Like they're redoing a lot of the character art, and it's just about every two years I, I get the hankering to play some World of Warcraft. And yeah, but like I kept playing Hearthstone, and I just I just know those characters. I know Dubs, the heroes. Are, yeah, I know all the heroes Dubstone. they're using. I started yeah. reading up on the story, and I was just like, you know what? I mean, I'll just I'll just I'll just, I'll just get a, a month subscription. We'll just. We'll just see what happens. The funny thing is, when I activated my subscription, I logged in and I was like, I don't know what I want to do. Do I want to play with one of my existing characters? Because I don't even remember what I was doing. I don't want to start it. <laughs> but I don't want to start, a, I don't start, start a new a character. New, a new character. You so, did it, man. So, I, uh, so the first night, I didn't end up playing it. And I was like, well, that was just a waste of money. Oh, okay. So and, you, just and, activated, you just activated the account and then... You said no. Nah, yeah, I don't want to like, start. I think it. I think it took me a week before I got into it, and I discovered, you know what? Uh, I I started playing the shaman on uh, uh, Hearthstone, and I was like, I didn't really mm-hmm. really roll a, a shaman when I played Warcraft. And you know what? I've been reading up on it, and I forgot they added all these this pet battle system. Pokemon is essentially in World of Warcraft now. See, and they don't like, care about Minecraft. They ain't, they ain't got nothing. They don't care. Minecraft ain't nothing but Pokemon. <laughs> they're the they're the threat to World of Warcraft. So they went ahead and rolled rolled pet battles. In. So that knowing <laughs> that I was gonna have to start over with pet or start from the beginning with pet battles, like I should just start a new character. So that was the 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 hook that got me over the hump to play. And then the thing about playing Warcraft, especially like especially solo right now in the beginning, it's it's really fucking peaceful. Like and I just I don't know, I've just been really relaxed while playing it and kind of just huh. it was just a, it was a it was a relaxing weekend with it. Like it, I it was so you just probably, played it. You were just played it by yourself, right? Played by myself for I, I'm like okay. level fifteen, but I've just you been pull, just you didn't pull Aaron back into it or anything. I well anybody that happened to sign in on Battle.net when I was playing, I kind of gave him a little nudge, be like. And but the, and then Aaron was like, like don't. You. He was like, don't tip me, and I was like, actually, don't <laughs> listen to me because I'm going to make the same pitch when the expansion comes out, and that's when I really need you to jump in. So, mm-hmm. um, ignore me for now because I'll probably stop in about a month. So, uh, anyway, I spent like probably eight to ten hours with it this weekend. So it was a uh, it was. It's okay. it's fine. It's fine. They they've actually fixed a lot of things from the last time I played because the thing is. Anybody that's still playing that game, they're obviously like really into their high level characters and doing like yeah. massive raid things. But the way they have figured out the server technology, when you're in a like a, a lower level part, it actually brings in it phases in other characters from other servers. So you can always see other people running around even if they're not on your server. So it doesn't huh. the last time I tried this, it was just really empty until I got to like the level thirty areas. Man, that is not yeah, that but is not this, a good this feeling. I'm constantly seeing just random people and um that's, that's really it's cool, effective. but you can't talk you can't talk to No, you can anything. still you can actually they find a way oh, really? for you to group up. It's it's that's yeah really cool. It's it's weird. Yeah, and you, man, that that's a really good idea. Like like when when your ser- when the numbers on your servers get low, just connect all the servers together. Yeah, but they're do yeah, I mean they're doing it they're doing it. Um, not via hardware, I guess. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they're, um, it's right. effective. So anyway, that was that was a neat thing to see that they've had to solve, um, and uh, I like that technology side of it too. So that that's funny. Um, I've actually heard some people complain that um, sometimes you'll be playing like the online multiplayer. Oh, it was uh, I think it was Ethan was talking about the secret world, where you know you're this covert operative that's sneaking into this facility. Except there's like 400 other people that are jumping over you that are also in the same area, and so like it takes you out of the immersion of it. Whereas <laughs> if no one was playing the game, yeah, it would you know it would feel like that. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I'll be curious to see how much I, I stick with it, but I had to, I had to come clean at least. So um, I think I think that's it. We had some other stuff we would get through, but we'll we'll save it for next time. So um, that's it for tonight's show. We'll be back again with another podcast next week. Um, either I think we're going to stick with the uh, the top video game podcast and our checkpoints roll, rolling forward. So you'll you'll see us again uh, next Tuesday night at eight. And uh, Jordan, thanks for hanging out tonight. Hey, thanks for having me. Yep. And p- putting up with all of my delightful <laughs> idiosyncrasies. I just gotta yell louder than you. That's really all I can do. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you. We'll see you next time. Bye.